Hi, the second case is nonlinear objective and constraints. Uh, in other words, your case includes nonlinear functions in both objective function and also constraints. Let's use this HOSP Care Corporation Hospital. And uh, uh, this hospital has about 200 to 400 beds. And uh, its profit depends on two factors. First one is number of medical patients admitted. And the second one is the number of surgical patients admitted. And uh, um, uh, the objective function has its particular structure. And we will be informed by the uh, hospital itself. And they have also three um, constraints, nursing capacity, nonlinear function, x-ray capacity, nonlinear function, and marketing budget is required. So uh, according to their information, here is the uh, profit. Uh, you want to maximize your profit and you make about $13 per medical patients. However, um, there is only uh, there's interaction between the number of medical patients admitted and the number of surgical patients admitted. So that's about the interaction is six. In other words, um, you know, the medical patients, they are coming there and then uh, many of them or some of them have to be going through the surgical patients. So, so that factor is about $6. And 5x2 means um, you make about $5 per surgical patients admitted. And uh, 1 over x1 means, you know, $1 is divided by number of uh, surgical patients admitted. Uh, so in other words, the more patients you have, uh, the less profit you will, you will get. Um, that's what it means by 1 over x2. But this is a fictitious case, but, you know, it's a kind of uh, plausible, right? And we have three uh, uh, page, uh, con constraints. So 2x1 squared plus 4x2 is less than equal to 90. So this is nursing capacity in thousand of labor days. So, um, um, you know, you know uh, the number of medical patients, about uh, two nursing hours are uh, required and it's being squared for that. And uh, for surgical patients, four uh, nurses are needed for that. So that's what it shows for the nursing capacity. And the second one is x-ray capacity. x1 plus x 2 tripled is less than 75. So, um, you know, usually um, the medical patient do not need to take x-ray usually, but the surgical patient, they sh surely have to, uh, most of all, you know, uh, most of the case, they have to go through x-ray capacity. That's why it's a tripled. And the third one is marketing budget. 8x1 minus 2x2 is less than equal to 61. So for medical patient, it takes a lot of money to advertise and draw them to the hospital care. Uh, however, for the surgical patients, you know, um, you don't have to spend as much money uh, because, you know, they have problems. They are anyway going to come to the place. And your total budget is $61,000 for that. Once you have this uh, 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 setup of the linear pro nonlinear programming, then how do we solve it in uh, Excel Solver? So here uh, are three step approach again. You set up the, the variables x1 and x2 first as an objective. And you've decided these objective numbers first, and then uh, you look at this uh, um, uh, objective function and it involves six different variables x1, x1 squared, x1 times x2, x2, x2 tripled, and 1 over x2, right? So it's quite complicated variables here and you have to enter the coefficient that are relevant to the objective function and then, um, you know, uh, set up the... Uh, the uh, maximizing the profit, and uh, uh, that's uh, uh, some product function of this row and the second row. And I added these three constraints here. And uh, one thing that I uh, could not understand was that I did not add uh, integer um, constraint here. Um, 
for some reason uh, it did not work. I think it's probably because um, uh, you know this this uh, uh, nonlinear format of the variables because of it is not working. So I had to uh, drop that uh, integer constraint and ran it and found the answer. And the answer says that uh, x1 is 6.006 and x2 is 4.1. And you can add them into your objective function. Then you find about 248,500, uh, 248.607 is your answer for that. And I will surely walk through the Excel solver with you. Thank you.